Hi guys, Wacky here. I've gone over this before, but it's probably got lost, and I thought I'd better do it in my tutorials. So, um, we are talking about a model, and we want to have a look at if we can manipulate this model. So, look at this burning car. Look, okay, we've got a crumpled bonnet, but do you know what? I reckon the force of the explosion is popped the bonnet up a bit. So, if we select the model, we're going to use Pose Manipulator. Now, you can find that under View, Toggle, Pose Manipulator. Uh, we're going to expand it and we're going to find the hood. We call them bonnets in UKs. Uh, you guys call them hoods in America, I believe. Uh, but anyway, we want to, um, as we want to rotate the Z axis, we're going to just simply select this and using the left mouse button, we're going to pop it open. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's it. I'm not doing anything else. I'm going to press escape. There, the bonnet's opened. Really that simple. Do you know what? We can probably do the boot. So. Okay, a boot is a trunk, fair enough. Oops, I've done the wrong one there. Uh, which one do I want to do? Not that one. Must be the Y. That's the Y, there we go. So we can open the uh, trunk. Uh, we've used the Y in this case. Again, just holding the left mouse button, and it's just a little toggler. Hey, we could put a, a body in there if we wanted. Yeah, do you know what? Oh, hell, let's put a body in there. I, I feel we need a. I feel we need to put a body in. It's a bit big, so um, I'm going to press N. going to change the scale. I know it's a bit silly, but you know. Uh, it's, yes, it's Wacker, and Wacker doesn't do sensible. Uh, rotate. There you go, there's a corpse in the boot, and we've opened the bonnet, in the bonnet, and we can see, uh, we've opened the trunk, and we can see it there. We can manipulate other things, you know, there are other, uh, anything that's got a tag on it, so we, we can open up. So, uh, back, right, rear, we could work out which one that is, there we go. There we go, now that's open. Really simple, but you know, that's a really good thing to look for in all your models when you want to change how they look. Just because a model does not shape how you want it does not mean that's how it should be. So if you've got a security light and it's only looking straight down, you may find you'll be able to point it in the direction you want. So you don't have to find a new model, you just manipulate the model in question. There you go, that's Pose Manipulator. Have fun guys.